Hello duckies and welcome to Townseek. This is a demo as you can see it's from the Steam Next Fest and it is all about exploring and managing your supplies and adventuring around to find new towns and new places. So let's hop on in. Some people spend their lives searching for adventure, love, or even fame. Others might just want to strike riches. When Sir Reginald Sharkingston became the richest shark in the ocean during his early youth, his life goal was achieved fairly quickly. While digging around the outskirts of the town of Sharkdwell, a young Reginald came across a cave full of unknown shiny minerals. According to Shark Law, since he found the cave, everything within it belongs to him. This strike of luck brought Reginald riches beyond his wildest dreams. Geolo geologists named the newfound new new mineral Shark Knight, and its energetic properties intrigued Reginald. And with ideas floating around in his mind, immediately invested his vast wealth in shark science. Within a year, his scientists had developed plenty of prototypes, some of which Reginald found very intriguing. Some finally allowed the shark folk to explore beyond the ocean. Thus, the first airship was created. Along with the invention of mechanical legs, shark folk were no longer bound to the depths of the ocean. With his mind set on adventuring, on living an adventurous life full of explorations and discoveries, Sir Regin Reginald Sharkingston emerged from the water and took off to the skies. And off he went to discover the vast world of Explora. But of course, every shark in Shark's Dwell knows that story. You didn't think I called my top apprentice just to talk about my late grandfather, right? Oh no, I just wanted to let you know that I'm finally done fine-tuning your brand new airship. It's good as new, even if half of the pieces are repurposed junk from older ships. I promise you won't even notice. <laughs> Anywho, I told you Sir Reginald Sharkingston's story for a reason. See, most people know the overall story, but the specifics have been lost to time. Sir Reginald's journey in journal has been passed down from generation to generation, and now it's in my fins. Haha. <laughs> However, the pages about his adventure have been torn off. My guts tell me that there's still somewhere out there in Explora. You can keep the journal. It's not very shark dwellian to get emotionally attached to old things, so feel free to use it as your own. So yeah, it goes around. Collection. Okay. Portable video game, postcards, lunchbox, goggles, treasure chest. Now let's take this ship for a test ride, shall we? Welcome to Explora. Fly your airship around and explore the world at your leisure. You can do you can go anywhere starting here from Shark Dwell. There are many landmarks to be discovered around the world. Once you discover one, interact with it to visit it and learn more about them. Some areas of the world will be covered until you progress farther in the story. For now, try visiting five landmarks and del deliver your first quest here in Shark Dwell. Okay. Um, got homesick, kiddo? Nothing wrong with visiting your old friends every now and then. Okay, um, town quests. You can help town by taking quests. How about hosts? Select the quest, check the rewards, and accept it. Okay. You have a limited a limit of town quests you can take from each town at a time. Increasing your town rank will unlock new quests and take and let you take more from that town. If you want to review, pin, or cancel any of your active quests, you can do so from the journal. Okay, that's the in progress. Three giant wheels. Take tourists to 
Stone bunny, okay. <clears throat> Alright, um, stone bunny, I would think. Well, sandcastle crabdom. Hermit crabs banded together to make a kingdom. That's smart. Okay. Good boy park. This used to be an office share dumpster. It's all clean now. Colossorama. Colosseum built with magic that prevents fighters from permanently hurting themselves. Why well, isn't that nice? Meowzerville. Welcome to my humble store. I'm Whiskey, and at my store, you're the boss. Oh, this is rather unusual. Are you sure? A shark folk. By my nine lives, you are. We don't get many visitors from the ocean. There's this one, Jawline, who has visited us a few times. Good friend of us, Mia. Do you happen to know him? Ha! Huh. What are the odds? A friend of him is a friend of ours, right? Let's get to business, Morale, yes? Okay, we... Fish, entertainment, and clothes. Can get most of the items and currency by trading with townhouse. Hundreds of different items to buy and sell all over. Each item has their own category depending on the town. Some categories may cost or sell for more. Buy cheaper in one place, sell higher in another. Items also change in price with time. Sometimes you may profit with more for more with a trade, but on rare equations, a place with a good deal may have terrible ones. <clears throat> Towns will also always have an in high demand items. One second, guys. I'm starting to lose my voice. <clears throat> if you happen to have it in your inventory, sell it for a great profit. If not, try to get it before time runs out. Some items are only available after you increase your town rank. You increase your reputation by selling new items to the town or completing town quests. Okay, so what was there? We don't have that, but I do have these. I will souvenir and close. <clears throat> Accept. Can't take more. Okay. Um, finding item crates. As you fly around the world, you may come across item crates, such as flying balloons. Interact with them to pop them open. These crates contain random items from towns you visited before and from around the world. Some crates might even contain unique items. Golden Star. Why does it smell like cat sweat? Buff cat cave. Stone bunny. Not sure where I'm going. Captain Jolene might give me a compass eventually. <clears throat> ah, Stone Bunny, natural rock formation. The land loves its people. Bunnies like climbing this rock during spring. It's tradition. Burrowbird. Hello, welcome to the Fluffy Roll Store, daycare, workshop, and miscellaneous. If you need anything you can bet, I can get it done. Mind the kids. They get excited when they see a new face. Especially shark folk like Mr. Jawline. Hmm? Do you know him? He's very popular among the kids. Then again, they think he's a pirate. I don't have the heart to correct them. Anyhow, feel free to visit us anytime. I'll be more than happy to see what unusual goods 
from across the ocean you bring to our burrow. Valuables, souvenirs, valuables, and food. Okay, well, I've got a valuable and I have some souvenirs. Actually, I have food too. Food. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, let's see if, um, I don't know where I, oh, my gold's down there, okay, and I can, all these, <clears throat> Chocolate River is safe for consumption of all species. Red pandas. Alright, so if we take our back across, put the dogs down there, it's enough to brighten your day. <clears throat> Trade with the town. Turn in some town quests. Deliver the quest. Didn't think the world was that colorful, did you? I saw so many cool places back in my flying days. Now, flying is only part of the job. How about making some money? Go visit other towns, buy some of their stocks, sell some of yours, and make a tidy profit. Remember the golden rule. Buy low, sell high. What's cheap in one town might be more expensive somewhere else. For example, you can buy clothes and fancy looking things at Shark's Well for cheap, and we'll pay more for food, fun, and souvenirs. Most of the time, at least. Prices may change a bit with time, but on average, that's how it goes. But why am I telling you this? You're my best apprentice. Don't overthink it. When in doubt, go with your gut. You'll be fine. <clears throat> As you explore the world, you'll find towns, each with their own unique culture and town host. Towns are highlighted with a unique map marker. There's tons to do in towns. Trade for new items and upgrades, complete town quests for reputation, and talk to hosts to learn more about their culture. Seek new towns to know more about Sir Reginald's legacy, meet new cultures, find new items, and discover more about the world of Explora at your own pace. Okay. Um, deliver that. Let's see here, you guys. I should have kept the lunch boxes. Oh well. So all these, all these, and all those. <clears throat> Fancy textiles and goggles. don't want clothes anymore. Um... <laughs> what are you guys looking for? Clothes, yes. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Um...
talk to the host. Oh, we can't talk to them yet. Okay. Still working on a quest with them. See, trade with that. Aha! I demand. be more impressed, but I'm certain that was an easy task. I would expect no less from my best apprentices. And to commemorate your hard work, let me give you a ship, your ship a cool makeover. It looks dashing, even if I have to, have to say so myself. Ha! Call this design the jaw dropper. If you put it on your ship at any time to make it look as cool as me. Now, let's get to business. Like I told you before, Sir Reginald Sharkington's journal was passed on to me with more of its juicy content torn apart. I can't tell who tore it apart. Maybe by Sir Reginald himself as some sort of prank. Or was it someone from my family? Who knows? As a result, while shark folk share their legends of his deeds, we don't know for certain the things he saw out there. Since I'm of the Sharkingston bloodline from the side of my sweet mother, I'm bound by lineage to reconstruct the journal. But I don't really feel like it, so how about you do it instead? If you're going to be flying around anyway, you might as well keep an eye out on them, right? Maybe he left behind some treasure? Who knows? Doesn't hurt to check with other merchants if they know about the pages, so good luck. Let me sweeten the deal. My sources tell me that our neighbors may have some pages. Come back to me when you've found two, and I'll give you a cool reward. Take that. Giant wheels. I haven't seen giant wheels yet. But it might just be that I... Deliver that. Come over here. Oh, are you looking for a page from Sir Reginald Sharkingston's journal, huh? Did Jawline set you up to this boss? A friend of Jawline is a friend of Catfolk. Yeah. So, as you, n my new friend, I'll share with you some juicy gossip. Yes, I happen to have the page you're looking for. The legendary Sir Reginald Sharkingston is well known in this town. But since the page is some emotional value to me, you'll have to work for it. Meowsville is primarily a fishing town, so if you want to see so I want to see if you share the thrill of the trade. Go catch some fish for sport if you'd like. We have our own fishing farm for our locals. If you happen to need a fishing rod, I happen to have some in stock. Round business. What are you guys? Sell those, sell those. Buy one, buy one, just to get it in my journal. <clears throat> Fish burgers, all of these. With a fishing rod, you can now explore the numerous unique fish of Explora. Look for fishing schools and previously hidden fishing spots as you travel around. When fishing, interact with fish schools and wait for a fish to bite. 
You'll know when you need you should reel back. Different locations have different fish. You can now also come across floating water crates out at sea, in addition to your previous flying crates. Fish them out to receive some extra items. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, we can... Okay, so we can't go past that, but... Marsh. Move the collection. Random item that's new to the collection. We can just pick things up off the map. But that's kind of cute. I like that we can actually pick stuff up off the map as well. This area. Oh. Soup. Balloon. Sunken ship. Oh. All it says is you'll know when you should. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Ah, uh, yes. Give me all. Please. One, one, one. I am poor now. <laughs> well, we gotta go take these over here. Somebody that wanted to go somewhere. Something about marshes. I can't remember where those were. I know I saw them. And pebble. Yeah. <laughs> 
<clears throat> oh, Atlantis fishing spot. Hello, Triplins. Aha, Marcy Marsh. Hello there, big finned friend. Are you from Shark Dwell? I'd recognize that steampunk style anywhere. What brings you to my luxurious store? The reputation of bubbling fashion brand are you are my liquid hats finally catching on most outsiders can't wear my creations so i suppose that my artistic vision might be way ahead of our time oh well if you're not here to discuss art then may i interest you in some local wares you're looking for a missing page from sir reginald sharkingston's journal right i don't remember how i came across it I'm so busy with my fashion design, so a lot of things come and go from the store. Part of the beauty of art is that you never know where the imp inspiration will come from. My philosophy towards art is easier to understand when I explored first tentacle, or hand, or thin, or whatever. Have you come across some mysterious crates in your travel? We don't know where those come from, but we do know one thing. They're full of mysterious goodies. Go open some up and let yourself captivate in it to its undiscovered beauty. Rama. Rig. Okay, so I think for the most part that kind of gives you guys an idea of of what this game is about. You're you're looking for the the lost journal pages and putting things together and trying to find treasure and all that good good. So that is going to be it for this demo. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!